Good morning. Today is Friday, the 19th day of March in this 2021st year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading of Psalm 133. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion, for there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Close to the cross, but far from Christ, is the theme of today's reading. And these readings are, are by um, Max Lucado from his book, No Wonder They Call Him the Savior. There was some dice throwing that went on at the foot of the cross. Imagine this scene. The soldiers are huddled in a circle their eyes turn downward. The criminal above them is forgotten. They gamble for some used clothes. The tunic, the cloak, the sandals are all up for grabs. Each soldier lays his luck on the hard earth, hoping to expand his wardrobe at the expense of a cross-killed carpenter. They, I've wondered what that scene must have looked like to Jesus as he looked down past his bloody feet at the circle of gamblers. What did he think? What emotions did he feel? He must have been amazed. Here are common soldiers witnessing the world's most uncommon event, and they don't even know it. As far as they're concerned, it's just another Friday morning and he is just another criminal. Come on, hurry up, it's, it's my turn. All right, all right. This throw is for the sandals. Casting lots for the possession of Christ. Heads ducked, eyes drownward, cross forgotten. The symbolism is striking. Do you see it? It made me think of us, the religious. Those who claim heritage at the cross I'm thinking of all of us, every believer in the land, the stuffy, the loose, the strict, the simple, upper church, lower church, spirit-filled, millennialist, evangelical, political, mystical, literal, cynical, robes, collars, three-piece suits, born-againers, Ameners, I'm thinking of us. I'm thinking that we aren't so unlike those soldiers, I'm sorry to say. We too play games at the foot of the cross. We compare, we, com we compete for members, we scramble for status, we deal out judgments and condemnations, competition, selfishness, personal gain, it's all there. We don't like what the other did, so we take the sandal we won and we walk away in a huff. So close to the timber, yet so far from the blood. We are so close to the world's most uncommon event, but we act like common crap shooters huddled in bickering groups and fighting over silly uh, opinions. How many pulpit hours have been wasted on preaching the trivial? How many churches have tumbled at the throes of minusculity? How many leaders have saddled their pet peeves, drawn their swords of bitterness, and launched into battle against brethren over issues that are not worth discussing? So close to the cross, but so far from Christ. We specialize in I am right rallies. We write books about what the other does wrong. We major in finding gossip, 
and become experts in unveiling weaknesses. We split into little huddles and then, God forbid, we split again. Another name, another doctrine, another era, another denomination, another poker game, our Lord must be amazed. Those selfish soldiers, we smirk with one thumb on lapels. They were so close to the cross, yet so far from Christ. And yet, we are, are we so different? Our divisions are so numerous that we cannot be cataloged. There are so many offshoots that even the offshoots have shoots. Now, really, are our differences that divisive? Are our opinions that obstructive? Are our walls that wide? Is it that impossible to find common cause? May they all be one, Jesus prayed. One, not one in groups of 2,000, but one in one. One church, one faith, one Lord. Not Baptist, not Methodist, not Adventist, just Christians. No denominations, no hierarchies, no traditions, just Christ. Too idealistic? Impossible to achieve? I don't think so. Harder things have been done, you know. For example, once upon a tree, a creator gave his life for his creation. Maybe all we need are a few hearts that are willing to follow suit. What about you? Can you build a bridge, toss a rope, span a chasm, pray for oneness? Can you be the soldier who snaps to his senses, jumps to his feet, and reminds the rest of us, hey, that's God on the cross. The similarity between the soldier's game and our games is scary. What did Jesus think? What does he think today? There is still dice throwing going on, and it is, and it is at the foot of the cross. That's a tough one, isn't it? Because it hits home. It hits far too close to home. We remember in John that yes, the Lord did pray that we would all be one as he is one. A sense of unity. And where is that found? It's in the common ground that we share with each other. It's not in the divisive little sex and problems that we create for ourselves to set ourselves apart, to set ourselves above or perhaps better than another. Examine that. Listen to our own preaching, pastors. Listen to the words that we sometimes choose to make us stand apart as being right or more on point with what Christ had to say. We waste a lot of time in doing this, that same thing. And perhaps it would be wise that each of us would look to a sense of the bridges and the chasms that can be breached and those things that might point to the things that we share in common. And that common thing is right before our faces, as Max says, it is at the cross where God hangs for our sake, for the sake of our oneness in him. And let us pray. Lord God, you prayed that we would be one as you and the Father are one. Help us, O oh Lord, to seek the common ground upon which we as believers in you stand and let that be our strength. Let it be that which binds us to brothers and sisters, though different than we think we are than from they. And help us to find that sense of unity, that sense of common ground that we all can stand upon. 
And in doing so, Lord, we will bring this world closer together. We will bridge those gaps that divide and split us asunder. Lord God, we thank you for the blessings of this day, for sunshine that returns, from reprieve from storms that could have been devastating in our area. We thank you for our life and the gift of this day in which we have our being. Help us to seek those common grounds upon which we stand this day and each and every day. Let you be the source of our light and our life and our hope and guide us on the pathways of unity, one with another. Help us, O oh Lord, to reach out to those that have needs that we might be able to care for and satisfy. Help us to share the resources that are abundant in our lives to help make a better life and a better way for another person. Be of strength and guidance to our families, to people that are still separated apart from one another because of COVID-19 and keep them strong in their love one for another. Care for those that still struggle with health and wellness issues. Send them your angels of mercy, your doctors and nurses and EMTs. For all of those, we pray that you keep them safe and you help them render a good and better day. And hear now our concerns that we share with you in the silence of these moments. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen. Today we have a, a bright and sunny day, and the sunshine has returned, for which we give thanks. We pray blessings will be upon each of you this day. Amen.